Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another review with Fall River Shooters here. Today we have the Secutor. Uh, it's by AGM, brand new to the market. Um, just hit a couple days ago. This is the Secutor it's 35 384 and it has a laser rangefinder built into it. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the ballistic calculator. And so I went in and set it up for my 223. And you can see I've got it in here at um, 376 yards. So let me zoom in and show you what it looks like. And so that red X down below sh um, shows exactly where you would be holding for a 376 um, yard shot. And so it's nice that it stays there even after the rangefinder is has been turned off, etc. I do wish that it would um, keep the yardage up there next to LRF so we know what that range was. Um, but anyway, so that's the whole zoom cycle but the focus of this video is going to be showing you how to set up that calculator so here we go we're just going to go into our main menu here and it's called ballistic calculation and notice my yards uh or my range finders turned to yards here um but what that doesn't do is it doesn't turn the ballistic calculation into yards that it's still in meters and i have not seen a way to change it from meters and um, ideally they'll fix this with software um, with a firmware update and so you know please be sure to check the description box as soon as they do I'll, I'll make a new video and, and show how all that works or if I get a message back from them saying they're not going to update it I'll, I'll also include um, those notes in the description box so so check the so check that out um, as we scroll down here I'll just show you what we did so there's several different ballistic profiles if you have several different types of ammo um, or if you're using it on several several different guns um, the velocity, I had to change it from, you know, um, convert it from feet per second to meters per second. It's not hard to do, but kind of a pain. Um, instead of um, having the zero range in yards, I had to convert that to meters as well. The altitude, convert it from feet to meters. Temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And um, it appears they only have the G1BC um, for you to put in for the bullet. Uh, it'd be nice if they had the G7 BC, you know, and you could choose between the two. Um, but all in all, it was really easy to set up and, and seems like it worked good. I still need to take it out to the range to confirm it, um, but I'll be doing that. So check the description box below. I'll include that video as well. And um, let me know what other videos you'd like to see with this scope. And I'm going to be cranking out quite a few of them. Uh, one other thing we're going to be finding out as well, um, rechargeable um, CR123 batteries for it. There isn't the option in the menu to set it to the rechargeable one, so we'll be getting some feedback on that. Um, but yeah, any other questions that you have, leave them uh, below and we'll be sure to answer them. And with that, um, we'll see you next time.